Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you what I got from Trader Joe's. My daughter and I just got back home from Trader Joe's and she is snacking on some cheese and a hot dog right now. So while she's occupied, I'm gonna show you what we picked up and I'm gonna be sharing with you the different dinners we're gonna be having throughout this week as well. All of it came out to be $114. So without further ado, let me show you what I got from Trader Joe's. So I learned my lesson from last time and not everything fits on our table. So instead of crowding everything on there, I decided to just put it on the floor for you guys and yeah, let me tell you what we got. So we got Trader Joe's version of Cheerios, which is Joe's O's for my daughter. She loves to snack on those, especially on the go, like in the car if I'm trying to keep her awake. And then I picked up some Rice Krispies as well for my husband. He likes to snack on cereal at random times and I always kind of mix up what I get. We got two unsweetened almond milks, one vanilla and one original. I really like the original that they have. A soy creamer that we like to use in coffee and tea. So Trader Joe's recently got these fruit juices that are delicious. This one is pineapple, mango, and mint, and they're not super sugary. They're probably about half of the sugar in a normal fruit juice, but yeah, I'm gonna be mixing that with this, and I like to make soda with the sparkling water and frozen fruit as well. We got these light kettle corn, which I really like. They're really easy on the go snack and something a little bit different. One night we're gonna be having black bean burgers. So I got a can of black beans because we already have a can at home. And then I have the other ingredients at home as well. And then we'll also use some onion for that. I like to put in some carrots as well and some other things like eggs and ground up oats. So we're gonna have black bean burgers one night. These diced tomatoes I got because one night I'm gonna be cooking up this ground turkey with some green beans, diced tomatoes, onions, and we're gonna be eating that with brown rice. So that is what that is for. I got a bunch of bananas. We'll be eating those plain and in smoothies. Some apples, which these ones are really good. They're not organic, but we still like them. Lemons, which we always like to have on hand and I use in a bunch of different things. Frozen peas, which I kind of just like to have. Sometimes my daughter will eat frozen peas with her meals. Got a few oranges to snack on. And then these granola bars are pretty good. These are Trader Joe's brand, so I picked up some of these. I prefer to buy granola bars from Costco or somewhere else so I can buy them in bulk because it's cheaper, but I was there, so I picked these up. I grabbed some salsa because we're going to be doing a taco salad one night, so I'll show you the rest of that stuff. I got these organic sweet potatoes. I love to buy potatoes organic. I can taste the difference so much and baking them. If you microwave your potatoes, try baking them. It is so much better. We often like to snack on potatoes, like we would have these with eggs for breakfast or for lunch with whatever other leftovers we have, so it's always good to have potatoes on hand. These teeny tiny Haas avocados, which were a really good deal at Trader Joe's. Um, one night we're also having pizza, so I love these gluten-free pizza crusts they have at Trader Joe's. It comes with two of them, so we'll be making this, and then I have other stuff on hand as well, like tomato paste, and I'll probably use some of the tomato sauce. And recently I picked up this dairy-free cheese, which, Last time I got it, it was moldy, so we did not try it, but we have been kind of getting into dairy-free cheese, so this is going to go on the pizza, and then whatever other vegetables I have around, I'll probably grill up some onions, and I have half of a green pepper that we'll put on, and maybe some zucchini, spinach, whatever other things are kind of sitting in our fridge, I will put on that. I picked up some eggs for breakfast. I grabbed some hummus because we have some carrots, so we can snack on that. And then I also love putting hummus on a baked potato. We got some white potatoes over there, which I'll be showing you. Um, we don't always get these, but I really like them. They're these brown rice tortillas, and sometimes I'll put whatever stir-fried vegetables we have in it, or I kind of do whatever with them because we don't really eat regular bread. So I got that. <clears throat> Our treat for the week is this dark chocolate with almonds. So coming over here to some of the other meals, I'm going to be roasting. Okay, so I got this organic chicken from Trader Joe's that has two big chicken breasts and drumsticks. I did this last week and it was really good. I roasted it in my cast iron pan in the oven with a bunch of vegetables. I cut up some carrots. I'm going to be doing this again. Carrots. I'm going to add some celery, potatoes, and I'll probably do zucchini as well. And a lot of seasonings and then onion and garlic and olive oil and it's so so good and the skin gets nice and crispy so that was gonna be one meal we got some tomatoes if we want to do any sort of sandwiches and my daughter loves tomatoes too so one ground turkey is gonna be for oh this is ground chicken oh my goodness I totally thought this is ground turkey that's so funny because it was cheaper than the ground turkey I've never got ground chicken before one of them I'm gonna make kind of taco style and we're gonna do with some romaine tomato with that avocado 
and what else are we going to put on that? Oh, beans, some different beans that we have, and do a sort of taco salad with that. So that's going to be really yummy. So some of this zucchini here is going to go on the pizza, and the rest is going to be sautéed with these green beans and onions and the tomatoes and the ground chicken, which I totally thought was ground turkey. So we will make that work, and then we got some frozen berries, which we snack on and put in smoothies, some frozen pineapple. And then another night we're going to be doing this tilapia with more of the romaine and some brown rice. And I'm going to make my favorite ginger dressing to put on top of that. It's so good. So it's going to be a fish salad with brown rice for one meal. And then let's see. I just grabbed this just in case we need something to eat. This is brown rice and quinoa spaghetti pasta. So it's just nice to have some things like this on hand if you need it. I ate one of these in a car, but these are so good. They're kind of expensive, I mean, for what they are. Definitely more expensive than those other granola bars. But they're three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates, no BS, and mixed berry flavor. But the ingredients are really good, and these are so delicious, you guys. Look how simple the ingredients are. Hey, sweetie, I'm almost done, okay? There's a little girl. Thank you for weaning. I'm almost done. So yeah, we got two of these, and also this gluten-free bread is delicious. I prefer it to a lot of the other ones out there. This is just Trader Joe's brand. And got three onions in total because onions make everything better. And last but not least, we got a pack of blueberries. So guys, I totally forgot to include these. My daughter loves to have these, sometimes for dinner if she's not enjoying the other stuff we have. And then these cheese sticks are something she snacks on all the time. She was snacking on these both right now. All right, guys, this is what we got this week, and this is what we'll be eating this week. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are having. I would love to know. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.